Australia is building infrastructure at a scale that rivals the ambitions of entire continents. While the world focuses on Asian megaprojects and European transit networks, the land down under is quietly engineering some of the most audacious construction efforts on the planet. We're talking about a solar farm so massive it will export electricity to Singapore through an undersea cable spanning 4,300 kilometers, a hydroelectric project tunneling through the snowy mountains to create the largest renewable energy storage in the southern hemisphere, and a freight railway that will reshape how goods move across an entire nation. From Sydney's underground metro expansion to a cultural institution designed to redefine Western Sydney's identity, these aren't incremental upgrades, they're generational bets on Australia's future. And the project topping this list isn't just ambitious, it's attempting something no nation has ever achieved, transmitting solar power across international borders at a scale that could rewrite the rules of global energy distribution. Number 5. Inland Rail For over a century, Australia's eastern freight corridor has been forced through a bottleneck, Sydney. Every container moving between Melbourne and Brisbane had to navigate one of the world's most congested urban rail networks, adding hours to transit times and limiting the nation's export capacity. Inland Rail is a 1,600-kilometer railway line under construction in Australia and currently Australia's largest infrastructure project. Once complete, it will connect Melbourne and Brisbane along a new route inland through Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland that allows for the use of double-stacked freight trains. The scale is monumental. Inland rail involves upgrades or enhancement works to approximately 1,000 kilometers of existing track and construction of 600 kilometers of new track passing through regional Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland. The Australian government has committed up to $14.5 billion in equity to the Australian Rail Track Corporation to support the delivery of inland rail. But here's what makes this project transformative. Scheduled transit times of less than 24 hours between Melbourne and Brisbane, which will be up to 10 hours faster than via the existing coastal rail route through Sydney. For a nation where freight efficiency directly impacts export competitiveness, those 10 hours represent billions in economic potential. Construction of the line is divided into 13 projects. The first section of Inland Rail commenced construction in December 2018 and became operational between Parks and Narromine in September 2020. Work is well underway in Midwestern New South Wales, while sections in Southern New South Wales have received state and federal government approvals ahead of construction beginning next year. In Victoria, work is nearing completion in the Northern Tranche, while the Southern Tranche will enter construction in 2025. Following the Independent Inland Rail Review in April 2023, the government decided to prioritize the beverage to parks section by 2027, New intermodal terminals are also to be developed in Melbourne at Beveridge and Truganina. A third terminal is proposed for Ebenezer, Queensland. Inland Rail CEO Nick Miller declared, Inland Rail will enhance our national freight and supply chain capabilities, connecting existing freight routes through rail, roads and ports, and supporting Australia's growth. When complete, Inland Rail won't just move containers faster, it will fundamentally restructure how Australia's eastern seaboard economy functions, bypassing Sydney's constraints and unlocking regional communities that have waited generations for modern rail infrastructure. Number 4. Powerhouse Parramatta Powerhouse Parramatta is dubbed as Australia's most significant new museum and the largest cultural development in Australia since the Sydney Opera House. Rising along the banks of the Parramatta River in western Sydney, this isn't just another museum. It's a statement that cultural infrastructure no longer belongs exclusively to central business districts. The 32,579-square-meter museum, located in the heart of western Sydney and Parramatta, is bounded by the river and home to one of the fastest-growing and most diverse communities in Australia. The building features seven large-scale exhibition spaces alongside learning and digital studios, a cinema, an 800-seat theater, an extensive rooftop garden, restaurants and cafes. But what makes Powerhouse Parramatta architecturally radical is its exoskeleton.
Powerhouse Parramatta officially completed the installation of its striking steel exoskeleton in May 2025, marking a significant milestone in construction. The exoskeleton is made up of more than 1,300 individual pieces of steel, ranging up to 20 meters in height. The design ensures the 18,000 square meters of museum space will be free of columns to create extraordinary exhibition experiences for visitors. The construction of the museum required about 12,000 tons of steel, triple the amount used to build the new Allianz Stadium. The highest point of construction has been reached with the building topping out at 75 meters above the Parramatta River. Perched at the highest point of Building B, the rooftop pavilion will be a striking architectural feature and a flexible public space when the museum opens in late 2026, offering sweeping views of the Parramatta River. Powerhouse Parramatta will create over 4,000 direct and indirect jobs across the project lifespan, with a target of 70% of the construction workforce drawn from Western Sydney. Once complete, Powerhouse Parramatta is expected to bring 2 million visitors to Western Sydney each year. The museum will be the largest in New South Wales and the leading museum of applied arts and sciences in the Southern Hemisphere. When complete, Powerhouse Parramatta won't just be a museum, it will be proof that world-class cultural infrastructure can anchor the identity of communities long overlooked by Sydney's cultural establishment. Number 3. Snowy 2.0 Deep beneath the snowy mountains, engineers are building what amounts to a giant rechargeable battery, one large enough to power millions of homes when the sun sets and the wind stops blowing. Snowy 2.0 is a pumped hydro battery mega project in New South Wales, Australia. The dispatchable generation project expands upon the original snowy mountain scheme, connecting two existing dams through a 27-kilometer underground tunnel and a new underground pumped hydro power station. The scale is staggering. It is expected to supply 2.2 gigawatts of capacity and about 350,000 megawatt hours of large-scale storage to the national electricity market. It is the largest renewable energy project under construction in Australia, includes one of the largest and deepest cavern excavations ever undertaken, and features the longest tunnels at 27 kilometers of any pumped hydro station ever built. The powerhouse will be located 800 meters underground, making it one of the deepest of its kind in the world. The entire volume of the cavern will be big enough to hold the Sydney Opera House. Three massive tunnel boring machines are excavating through ancient rock. TBM Florence is excavating the 17-kilometer head race tunnel connecting the underground power station to the upper Tantangara Reservoir, now more than 3 kilometers into the head race tunnel. TBM Lady Eileen Hudson is excavating the 6-kilometer tail race tunnel connecting the underground power station to the lower Talbingo Reservoir, a total of 130,500 segments, each one weighing about 7 tons, will be made to create the 14,500 rings needed to line the 27 kilometers of tunnels. By February 2024, half of the construction required was complete. Underground excavation of the Machine Hall and Transformer Hall Cavern was completed in February 2024. The project is expected to be completed in December 2028 and commissioned by December 2029. When operational, Snowy 2.0 will fundamentally reshape how Australia manages its renewable energy grid, storing excess solar and wind power during the day, then releasing it precisely when the nation needs it most, proving that mountains can become batteries. Number 2. Queens Wharf, Brisbane Queens Wharf is a multi-purpose residential and entertainment precinct that is partially complete and partially under construction on either side of William Street in the central business district of Brisbane, Australia. The Mega Project is one of Australia's biggest mixed-use precincts. After nearly a decade of construction, Brisbane's riverfront is finally being transformed into a world-class destination that positions the city as a serious contender for international tourism. The $3.6 billion Queens Wharf Brisbane Integrated Resort Development commenced a staged opening in late 2024. The mixed-use development will feature 2,000 apartments, 1,100 hotel rooms, and a casino. The project also includes a 1,500-seat ballroom and a Skydeck observation platform with 360-degree views.
The Sky Deck will be open to the public 24-7. There will be around 50 new cafes, bars, and restaurants in the resort. Stage 2 of Queens Wharf Brisbane began its progressive rollout in August 2024. Several features are now open to the public, including the new Neville Bonner Pedestrian Bridge, already being crossed an estimated 10,000 times daily. The Star Grand Hotel. The new Star Brisbane Casino, along with multiple food and beverage offerings, also opened on August 29, 2024. The design aims to integrate tourism, leisure, and entertainment facilities in an underutilized part of the city. The site includes 11 state-owned heritage sites. Seven and a half hectares of space have been allocated for public use. The Sky Deck will be positioned 100 meters above William Street. The project will create thousands of jobs during construction and 8,000 jobs when fully operational. Queens Wharf is poised to become a landmark destination in Brisbane, enhancing the city's appeal and contributing to its growth as it prepares for the 2032 Olympics. When complete, Queens Wharf won't just be a resort, it will be Brisbane's bold declaration that Australia's third largest city is ready to compete on the global stage. Number 1. Australia Asia Power Link. What if a country could export sunshine, not metaphorically, literally transmit solar energy across 4,300 kilometers of ocean to power another nation? Renewable energy developer Sun Cable has obtained its principal environmental approval from the Northern Territory government for its Australia Asia Power Link interconnector. This is no longer a concept. It's the world's largest renewable energy project in development, and it represents a fundamental shift in how humanity thinks about energy distribution. The project aims to provide 3.2 gigawatts of dispatchable electricity and could power up to 15% of Singapore's electricity needs. The solar panels will cover a 12,000 hectare area in a region with some of the best solar resources in the world. The Australian Outback where solar irradiance levels are among the highest on Earth and cloud cover is minimal year-round. The scale is almost incomprehensible. One of the world's largest solar farms at 17 to 20 global warming potential, the world's largest battery at 36 to 42 gigawatt hour, and the world's longest undersea high-voltage direct current cable system at approximately 4,200 kilometers. The project operates in two integrated components. An 800-kilometer overhead transmission line will supply up to 4 gigawatts of green electricity to Darwin, powering the Northern Territory's industrial ambitions and transforming the region into a hub for green manufacturing. Then, 1.75 gigawatts of power will travel through 4,300 kilometers of subsea cabling to Singapore, crossing the Timor Sea and Indonesian waters in one of the most ambitious submarine infrastructure projects ever attempted. Australia's Environment Minister Tanya Plybersek said the project would create 14,300 jobs and transform Australia into a renewable energy superpower, delivering more than $20 billion in economic value to the Northern Territory. The economic ripple effects extend far beyond construction, this project could redefine Australia's export identity for generations. As of 2023, Singapore produces over 94% of its electricity from natural gas. The AA power link could provide about 15% of Singapore's electricity, reducing emissions by up to 6 million tons per year. For a city-state with virtually no land for renewable generation, importing Australian sunshine solves an otherwise impossible decarbonization challenge. Supply of the first clean electricity is estimated to start in the early 2030s. When operational, the Australia Asia Power Link will be proof that renewable energy can cross international borders at industrial scale, fundamentally rewriting the rules of how nations generate, store, and share power. Australia won't just export coal anymore, it will export the sun itself. From tunnels beneath the snowy mountains to undersea cables stretching towards Singapore, Australia is proving that geographic isolation is no barrier to global ambition. These five megaprojects represent over $80 billion in combined investment, positioning the continent as a renewable energy superpower while revolutionizing how its cities move and connect. So which project impressed you most? The underground battery of Snowy 2.0 
the cultural landmark rising in Parramatta, or Sun Cable's audacious plan to export sunshine across 4,300 kilometers of ocean? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious mega projects. We'll see you next time.